VLC is a free program and very easy to download. All we need to do is go to our favorite web browser, type VLC into the search bar and hit enter. As you can see, the top result is for the official VLC media player. But if you're not sure here, the address you're looking for is www.videolan.org. Once we click the link, we are brought to VLC website's main page and conveniently the download link we are looking for is just here. If we look just underneath our link, we can see that this version is for Mac OS. However, if it says Windows, then just click this down arrow and in the drop down list you will see Mac OS and by selecting it, you will now have the correct link to download from. So let's click the link now and download VLC. VLC's DMG will begin downloading into my downloads folder but you may see this message appear. First, don't worry. As long as the information here matches the information here, we are safe and just need to click keep. Now that's done, we can close and quit our web browser and head over to my downloads folder where we can see the completed DMG file. Let's open this by double clicking it. As we can see, the disk image has been mounted on the desktop and we now have this window. All I need to do here is drag and drop the VLC application into this application folder. Once that's completed, we can close this window, delete the DMG file by holding down control while clicking it, then select move to bin. Close this window and eject the mounted disk by holding control while clicking it, then selecting eject VLC media player. Now we've gotten rid of all of that, Let's go into our applications folder, find VLC and open it by clicking it from here. You will see this verification bar and just leave it to run. Soon after that, this window will appear asking if you're sure you want to open this file. As long as the information here says VLC or videoland.org, then all we need to do is just hit open. As you can see, VLC has opened straight into its main window and is now ready for you to use. However, I have two personal preferences that I like to set up at this point, so I will quickly share those with you now. To do this, we need to go into VLC's preferences. So come up to VLC in the menu bar and from the drop down menu, select preferences. The first setting I change is by putting VLC's interface into dark mode. I do this within the interface section by going just here in general settings and checking the dark button. My second preference is just a small time saver, but it is to set my videos to open in full screen. To do this, we need to go into the video tab and towards the center of the window in full screen settings, check the box for start in full screen. Once we have done that, all we need to do is hit save and we are done. As you will see, nothing has changed with the interface. So you may be wondering what happened to dark mode. To see the changes, we need to quit and reopen VLC. So let's quit VLC by coming up to VLC in the menu bar and selecting quit. Now let's go back to our applications folder and reopen VLC. As you can see, we now have dark mode. So that was how to download, install and set up VLC. Head over to the next video where I'll show you the four easiest ways to open a video file in VLC.